Hello, and in this video for Firefight 2nd Edition, we're going to tell you how you can fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, I've got my rats here. Yep. Matt has been shooting me a bit. I'm a bit weak, so I think it's time that I got stuck in and started <laughs> fighting with teeth and claw. So, Matt, I'm worried about these enforcers here. I want to charge in with these. How does it work when I want to actually fight you in hand-to-hand? -hand? Well, you can. You need to move into base contact with me. Yep. Now, you can do that with an advance, but it's not a charge and you won't get the benefits of, okay. uh, of, of that. Really, ideally, you want to charge into combat. Now, that's a sprint move into base-to-base -base contact. Okay. So that's your second of your, your values on your speed stat. Um, in your case, 15, so I think that's well within range. Yep. Um, what you do is uh, you go uh, from your leader model, yep. you measure the range to the closest uh, enemy model in yep. the unit. Um, and as long as it's in a direction, in a straight line, so you're not having to run around anything, it's a valid charge. You won't be hindered, yeah. um, and you can get into combat. So you move your guy, your guys, your leader straight into the. So that one will be model. the closest one, I'd imagine. Yep. And so then, he goes in. Yep. And then the rest of your unit needs to get back into coherency, just like a normal move. Yep. But um, as much as possible in base contact with other mod enemy models. Okay. So they can that one can go there, that one there. And then can they go behind you? Yep, yeah, as long as I stay in coherency from the leader. Okay, so that one there. So my big terror. Remember your, uh, your less than 10 models at this point. Yeah. So your oh, yeah. probably wants to be this side within three. There we go. Okay, now because you, you weren't hindered and you charged, uh, your bonuses are you get to fight first. Fantastic. Before, um, before I get to roll. If, any, if I've got any survivors, I'll then fight back. Yeah. Uh, you also get plus one to hit. Okay. Uh, so it's quite quite beneficial. Um, so in exactly the same way as shooting, uh, you have a look to see how many dice each of your guys get in assault. Yep. So these are stalkers. So they have got assault weaponry, which is two dice each. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten dice. Yeah. And he... Does he add any attacks or anything special to your squad? Yeah, so that is a Night Terror with Scythes and Assault 4D with okay. AP2. Okay, so you probably want to you want to roll four, his four dice as a different colour. Yeah. So to identify that um, any hits he gets will have uh, affect the armour. Okay. Rolls when we're rolling to damage. And so on the profile, I guess because he's a drone, they will use the same stats as everyone else so i'm still rolling uh four plus correct okay yes. so he's he, he, in effect he's a, an upgrade to the squad he'll add attacks yeah uh, but any any um anything that's specific to his attacks such as armor penetrating are only up for him doesn't benefit the whole squad okay but he adds to the squad for shooting or combat or whatever whatever that drone's ability is okay right so i will be so you're saying actually i'm plus one so i'm yeah actually three plus on my yeah, wow nasty. It's over for these enforcers. Right. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Move all those ones and twos. Yeah. So, so that is pretty good. So all the hits. Okay. Um, and now you're rolling, is, as just with shooting, you're now rolling against my armor. Right. So my enforcer operatives have armor six. So all those white dice are going to need six or more. Yeah. But those uh, green ones you said had AP two. Two, yeah. So it's going to be down to four. So they need four or more. Okay. So... Have a look. I've got four, one, two, five, three, five, five, five hits. And I have five guys, each with health points or hit points one. Yeah. So you've wiped the squad out. Wow. All five have gone. So I will remove those fives. Now, obviously, I don't get to fight back. Yeah. Now, if you'd have advanced into me, we'd have fought simultaneously. Okay. So it's only if you get a, an unhindered charge off that you fight first. So what do I? So I've won the fight. What do I do now? You, because you're the fight's winner, uh, you're not marked as uh, uh, activated unless that is actually the end of your activation. Yep. Um, so actually, if you had advanced, you'd have a short action left at this point. But you you ch you uh, used a long action to sprint in, so you don't. But you can make a consolidation move. Okay. So again, it's from your leader. So your leader can move um, in uh, any direction, um, and then the rest will go back into co to coherency with him. So how far can I move? Is it three inches? Uh, yes. Okay. So if I move there backwards, because obviously now I'm a bored. Yeah. And then back into coherency, and they can move again behind yep. like they would normally. Yep, in any, any way you want. So that was obviously 
pretty powerful. Is there anything you could have done to stop me? Uh, yes. So if, as I was unactivated, yeah. um, and not every unit can do this, some units will have keywords that allow them to have an assault reaction. Okay. So they can respond immediately to the threat coming in. And there's, there's, there's four things they can do. So if they've got the, su the suppressive fire keyword, they can try and pin you on your way in, yeah. which means you'll be at, uh, at minus one. Uh, controlled fire means they can actually shoot you. It's harder to hit you. But if they do hit you, any casualties that are caused count towards would count towards my assault resolution. Okay. Um, I can try and uh, evade, which means I can actually run away, which means you'd fail. You'd yeah. be then potentially left out in the open. Yeah. Um, and then the the fourth and final one is a counter charge. So if you if you've got an assault unit just very good at obviously attacking itself, it mm. may want to obviously immediately fight uh, fight back. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Well, let's. Let's see what would happen if I uh, you'd kind of attacked me first with one of your assault reactions. Yeah. And we'll also place myself behind this hedge to see how cover makes a difference as well. Yes, okay. So if we set up again, and then we'll have a look, see what happens. Okay, so this time I'm going to charge in again. Yeah. But unfortunately, I, my rats have stupidly decided to hide behind this hedge. So what effect is that going to have when I charge in? So you'll declare your intention to assault me. Yeah. Um, this will hinder you so if if your lead if the the line from your leader to the closest model goes um, through difficult terrain or over an obstacle or you have to go round something yeah uh, then it becomes a hindered charge right so you still get into into combat but you'll still get to go first as well but you'll lose the plus one to hit bonus. okay uh, so that's the first thing also because my squad here is uh is not yet activated and they're also not pinned they can make an assault reaction because they've got the controlled fire keyword, which okay. means they can do a controlled fire reaction. Okay, so if I announce I'm going to charge into these and assault you, do you so then say... I now say no, I now do immediately do my uh, assault reaction. So at this point, say I could evade, I might be able to fall back at this point, and yeah. then, you might, then you might find yourself out in the open, okay. etc. So at this point, I'm going to fire back. Now that will activate me yeah. for, for future rounds, so it's sort of kind of pre uh, borrowing a, a future activation of mine. So I would activate them, but I would do a control fire. Now, because you're running at me and, um, it's, and, uh, and it's something I'm reacting to and not, not set up, yeah. I'm at minus one. So my guy's normally hitting on fours. I'm going to hit it out on fives. Now, yep. I, but I can ignore that uh, that hedge for this. Okay, because so because I guess they are, it's like they're charging towards me. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I need ten dice, five, ten. Thank okay. you. And I need fives. Now, uh, any that any damage I cause to you at this point will add to my combat resolution. Okay. So if I've got any left, and we're seeing who's won, yep. who, based on the most damage caused, anything I do here with my shot will actually count towards. Okay. Me. So, I'll remove the ones that failed. That was pretty good. Uh, pretty yeah, good much shooting, better than yeah. your previous roll if you yeah, watched one of the other absolutely. videos. <laughs> um, and your armor. Five. Fives. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five models. Oh, no. So actually, at that point, I have, before you've even got to me, yeah. I've actually wiped you out. You move all of those, including your leader, and then the drone's gone as well because that's not a part of the unit. Oh no! So that was a big difference. Yeah, absolutely big difference. No, I, I had to borrow an activation to do it. Yeah. Um, and then it might be back to my turn, so I'd have another activation, so I couldn't do anything more with them. But yes, that's uh, uh, assault reactions like that can be. You know, you got from a from a um, a planning point of view, you have to look at the other unit and say, how are they? Can they react to me? Yeah. Have I got enough to get past them? Okay. Yeah, because obviously. In, you know, previously you, I wiped you out. This time you totally wiped me. Yeah. Out. So your your guys are very good at combat once they're in it. Yeah. They've got a lot of attacks. And forces are very good. They're smaller squads, but they're very good at shooting. Okay. So maybe actually we'll set up slightly differently, and we'll have a look, see what happens if we both are rolling for fights, and then see what happens as well there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 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 So in this situation, we've set up another one of the kind of uh, potential situations you may find yourself with assault. In this case, I've actually advanced into combat rather than charging in. And the difference there is that we'll end up fighting at the same time rather than me going first, potentially wiping out your squad, uh, and then you having a go if you've got anything left. That's then, right. So no normally you, you always get to go first if you have a successful, if you charge in. Yeah. But if it is an advance in, it's a simultaneous uh, combat. Okay. So I guess you could potentially, because of the way the short action and long actions works, you could shoot 
the short action to weaken the unit and then advance into combat and potentially then an assault as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see a bit later with the command orders. Um, you know, the enforcers can be quite good at that because one of theirs allows them to advance, shoot, advance. So actually, they can wade through um, okay, a wow. number of units. Right. Okay. So, so I'm going to roll. For, so I still stand up, sort of roll. First, I guess, but then we're going to resolve the casualties at the same time. Uh, yeah, I, guess. I mean, obviously, if we had enough dice, we could do it together. But yeah. Yes, you go first, but you, I, I will get to fight back with all of my guys, and then we'll work out the difference. Okay. Uh, so, the so I'm going to roll my ten dice. I've got the green ones again for the. Now, because you advanced in, you're not on plus one, so it's just your normal assault value. So that is five plus. Uh, no, so four plus. So take out the. Ah, oh, so. One, two, threes. Yep. Yeah. So that was a, that was a four. Uh, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you roll to damage. So my armor is uh, sixes um, and fours for that green one because yeah. you're your AP two. So <laughs> one, two. There you go. So that would be five as well. Oh, as well. So four successes. Okay. Now, normally that would kill four my guys, and it will do. Yeah. But they all because we're fighting simultaneously. I'll get to fight back with everyone first. Okay. As I said, my, I'm, I'm much better at shooting. My guys have only got one dice each in combat, but okay. they're still alive at this point. So I roll five dice. Um, I, my assault is five plus. So this is like a melee. We're all sort of scrapping. I'm trying to bite you and things, and you're yes. hopefully trying to stab me and punch me. Yeah. Smash you around the head with my uh, with my rifles. Um, so those two go out. So I've hit you th uh, three times. Your armor was five. Fives. I've got no AP or anything like that. Uh, so two. two. So there we go. So you caused five. I, uh, you caused four. Yeah. So I'll take four guys away, uh, leaving leaving my leader, who's this guy here, and you take two of yours away. So in this instance, you've won the combat because yep. you've done four damage to me, and and I've only done two to you. Okay. Um, so at this point, I as a loser, I have to uh, move directly away from you, and directly away is based on the position of the leaders. Yeah. So you draw a line from the uh, winning leader. My through, leader. Oh, the, the one leader, pointing? The one that's pointing. Yeah. Winning leader through uh, my leader. Um, and I, I fall back um, an advance move. Uh, so it's through in that direction. And he's going to move back here. Now it is possible. Now I have to end my unit. Uh, uh, the unit has to move in all its models. Stay one inch away from enemy units, just like you normally would do in, in movement. If I can't do that, then I might become trapped, and in which case instantly destroyed. From okay. So you can surround someone and, and, and destroy them like that. You now get to, uh, I will become activated, even if I wasn't already, um, and you can make it a consolidation move because you're the winning uh, the winning side. Okay, so like before, I can just move them around. So I'll move my leader about there. Keep them like that. Yep. Okay, so as you can see, there's plenty of different options for how you can kind of react to an assault action, what you can do, obviously, if you charge in, and also what you can do if you advance. So hope you enjoyed that video and we'll be back shortly with another one.